Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and I have literally no idea <laughs> what we're testing today. So why don't you tell us? Yeah, so obviously we did that kit beer, and people were saying, no, you've got it wrong. Hang on, link up there. So we did, it was the Pitbull, wasn't it? Pitbull? Pitbull. John Bull. John, John, John Bull. John Bull. Pitbull's the Mr. International, isn't he? Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Different guy, different guy. Yeah, so we, uh, and people get, no, you got it wrong with kit beers. You can improve them, you can make them better. So I said, let me see if I can make a kit beer that you'll like. So I've split the recipe. Okay. I've got one of these is just the standard kit beer. So it's a New Zealand pale ale, mango, mango, go, mango jack. Yep. Mango jack, yes. Uh, and then the other one is the same uh, pale ale, but I've added Idaho 7 on the dry hop. It's one of my favorite hops. And also I've used the hop head yeast, which is supposed to bring more of the hopness out, I guess, the so, flavor from the hops. So that's uh, a mango jack yeast that's recommended for hazy pails, yes. dry hopped beers, New England IPAs, something like that. Yes, and the other one is just the, 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 the that silver packet that you don't know what yeast it is, comes in the ale yeast in it. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see. And you're not uh, gonna tell me, are you, which is which? No, I know. So we've got a red cap and we've got a yellow cap. Um, so I've got, I'll tell you the prices afterwards. Okay. So, so should we pour it in first and then maybe we can shoot to the footage of me brewing it, making it? Yeah, what's it? Should we just go to that footage now? Yep. In the packet, we've got our malt extract. Sounds good that, doesn't it? And we've got our ale yeast that comes in it. So it's what you get pretty much with most sort of kit beer packs that you get. And then obviously pure liquid extract out. So I've got my scales here. I've got my water boiling. So we need three liters of boiling water and then top it up to what will be 23 liters. Now, obviously because we're doing half and half, what we'll end up doing, so 1.2, which is about 40 ounces. I believe for, for the US ounces. So we'll be splitting that to 600 mil in one, 600 mil in the other, splitting a half, and then for, well, 20 ounces in each. And then 1.5 liters in one of them, 1.5 liters in the other one. So, and that's basically what I'm gonna do, measure the liquid extract malt, uh, split it in two, uh, and then add it to, uh, in, in half into the each different containers. Okay, 1.7, so half of 1.7, so we've got 500. So 8.7, 8.5, 8.5 each. Sort of temperature control room because I've not got two, so I thought it'd be unfair. So we'll take him to the room, we'll carry on filming, we'll pitch the yeast, and then pass Penny, we'll pass over to future Ace and future Penny. Thanks for watching, guys. So there's me making it, so um, yeah, solid process. I mean, I don't think it is a solid process, really, is it? It was difficult because there was no, the tins are easy because you can stir them out with hot water and put it in, but the packet. Why didn't you make one big bucket of wort? Yeah. And then just split it into two buckets? Different beers, different hops. Right. But at the start, all you need is, all you need is the wort. So. Oh. <laughs> So you're there squeezing a bit That's into the water. I measured them each out individually. So <laughs> you could have just oh, what an idiot. You could have just done one and oh, then thought, dried split, it and split, split it into two in. different buckets. Oh mate, it's the same beer, isn't it? Before <laughs> you idiot. 
Okay. Oh, all man. that, all of that aside, all of that aside. Well, we might as well just scrap that video, <laughs> hadn't we? Me just making a cock of myself. We should just put it in one bucket, split it. Oh, too oh, late now. It's too late idiot. now. All of that aside, what happened after that? Let's have a look. Here's, uh, you, here's you putting some hops into it. Hi guys, so we're now Tuesday, so uh, what's that be three days after pitching the yeast, so obviously the one with the hop head, we're just going to add 50 grams of Idaho, oh man, what a lovely smell of hop, so we're literally just going to try a hop of this, in. so the Krausen's pretty much start to fall, still a little bit of activity, so we're sort of at the, the, the tail end of the fermentation. Well at least you did that bit right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. So it'd be fine if it was just between me and you, but the fact that the world sees, <laughs> <laughs> the world sees everything. Oh dear. Oh. No. So let's get these in the glass. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're going to go red top in the big glass. Yeah. Yellow top in the small glass. No indication that's nothing to do with the beer that I know is in each. It's just the way we put. Just the way, them. just the way they're laid out. Yeah. We've only got two glasses each and the different sizes. So deal that's, with it. Yeah. I mean, this beer is what, it must be about six weeks old or something like that. Yeah, we've been a bit delayed, haven't we, really? We're not scoring these, just literally, what, a thought? Or do you want to score? No, let's. What do you want to do? I mean, we can score them if you want. Yeah. What? Oh, get a yeast at the bottom of mine. It's like someone's made that one. Though. Bad pouring for me. Okay, well, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of orangey. Looks good. Looks so good. That's, so that's red, the red top one. Red top. Well, I'm still, I'm not doing great today. <laughs> wow, you have, you have really overshot the mark on that one, haven't you? And there's the yellow top one. Okay. One's a bit clearer than the other. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah. The yellow top one's a bit clearer. Yes. Um, what we do, are we scoring them? I'll tell you what, no, let's, should, we, should we not, do you want to score them or not score them? I don't think we should score them. I just think we should give so, our opinions on so each I, category. I, I'm trying to work out which one's better. Have yes. You, and, and have you made the kit better? Yes. From not knowing what it is. Okay. Yes. So the one on my left, yes. the yellow top, Yes. Looks better. It's clearer. Yes. It's okay. clearer. Um, and it's got a bit more of a head. Yes. Okay. Okay. From this, I'm going to guess that the, so far, don't tell me yet. Don't tell, tell me until the end. Don't tell me until the end. I'm going to guess that the yellow one is the standard kit. Okay. Okay. That's my guess at this point. Okay. Okay. I think we should smell it. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> How's that? Change your mind. <laughs> it smells of absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this one smells like delicious hops. <laughs> I mean, worlds apart. Yeah. Absolute worlds apart. But which one do you prefer? <laughs> the yellow one. <laughs> the yellow one. Uh, it, it looks the head better. has hung around a lot better as well, hasn't it? <laughs> the head's uh, hung around a lot better. It looks a lot better. It smells a lot better. Which one do you want me to taste first? Uh, let's go with the red cap. Red cap first. Yeah. Cheers. 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 And what's this, uh, what's this kit called? Uh, it's a New Zealand Pale Ale Mangrove Jacks. The New Zealand Pale Ale. Okay, well, that doesn't really taste of anything. <laughs> it's very bland. Yes. That beer is very bland. Mm. Uh, uh, it's... it's home brewing, isn't it? It's got that weird... It's got the twang. Yeah, it's, it's got, got weird the twang. twang. I don't and get you know what? it. I, depending on what happens when I taste this next one, I always think that the homebrew twang comes from the yeast you get in a kit. Mm. We'll find out whether I'm right or not, because I'm thinking now, I'm thinking now that this is the standard kit. Okay. It smells of nothing and it tastes of nothing. 
Haven't tasted this yet, but it smells incredible. Well, I say incredible. It smells a lot better than the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks Let, a bit better. Looks a bit better. Let's taste this. Okay. Cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. That sniff, it got that sniff. Mm. Wow. <laughs> This is the first time I've tasted this as well, so... The fact that you've not boiled anything up, nah, nah. You've, all you've done is added hops. Yep. It's clear, isn't yep. it, that this is the one that you've added things to. Yep. Now. Oh, the yellow. Sorry, do you want me to come clean now? Before the... Yeah. No, 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 no. It's clear to me that this is the one that things have been added to. All... Idaho, first of all, Idaho 7 hops taste great. If you've never used them before, if you've never used them before, use them. They're incredible. This it hasn't got that homebrew twang. That. Hasn't got the homebrew twang. It doesn't taste like a kit beer. Nope. No. It's got nice hoppiness at the end. Um, the mouth feels different as well. I think the mat, just let me double check that. Yeah, I mean, in terms of percentage, this turned out at 3.8%, uh, and this one was 39 so, so although I had eaten more of the sugars up, but... This you know, I, feel, it, it feels yeah, nicer. Well, maybe yeast does contribute to the mouthfeel. It, it, it's like, this one tastes, you know, what I would call like almost like premium. Like the, the way that it kind of coats your mouth, not in a syrupy way, but it's slightly thicker than this one. The aroma's there. The flavour's actually really, really good. Low bitterness. Yeah, low bitterness, high hop flavour, like high hop aroma. It's like a session New England IPA, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because there's barely any bitterness in the kit, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is the one that you've done work to. I know now, and, and but, you know, we'll, but let's just come clean. Before we get on to price and how sessionable they are and everything like that, this is the one that you've done stuff to, isn't it? The yellow cap is... Yes. Thank God. Thank <laughs> God. I thought my taste buds were rotten. Uh, yes. It's clear. It's clear. So tell tell us, um, what did you what did you spend on making this into this? So um, the yeast itself was actually about three pound forty. So for the packet of yeast. So I mean, obviously, I've had to split these. So it you've got to take into consideration that uh, it becomes. It doubles expensive because I'm only, you know, yeah, per so if, pint. If, if you were doing it on one whole kit, then yeah, so per yeah. pint. So that that was about three pound forty. The hops worked out maybe uh, it was about seven pound twenty five for hundred grams. Okay. So this bit with the and the kit, sorry, was uh, eleven pounds. So if you're looking at it, this worked out roughly about uh, forty four pence per pint. Okay. And this, sorry, I didn't halve the price of the yeast, but I did half the price of the hops because I only used uh, 50 grams of hops. I oh. didn't use the 100 grams. So you've got a bonus 50 grams of Idaho. Yeah, so, so you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I was doing the whole kit, I would use that whole yeah, packet. Yeah. So I halved the number. Yeah. So I didn't halve the yeast packet because I used the whole yeast packet, but I halved the number of hops. And this worked out at 77p per pint. So, I mean, what I would say about this is if you don't own... A, a an all grain setup, yep. and you wanted to improve the kit. This is a really good way to do it. You know, change the yeast out, use some extra hops, and chuck them in there. But what I would say is, for seventy-seven pence a pint, we can make a lot better beer. You're almost doubling in doubling the price, but you're making a beer that's drinkable. Yeah, but what no? What I mean was, if we bought the grain and bought the hops. For yes. 77p, we can make a really a, yes. a better beer than this. But you've got to have that initial outlay. So you've got the outlay of the equipment. But so can, can you, in answer to the question, can you improve a kit beer? Yes, you can. Yes. And is it worth, would you, if you didn't have a grain father, would you pay near enough double the price for this beer over that beer? Yes. 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 No question. Because, because this beer is rubbish. Yeah. It's undrinkable. <laughs> it's undrinkable. I'm not going to drink that. That's going to go down the drain. Yeah. But this one is, is I'm going to sit back. The sun's just out past the point I'm going to sit in the sun I'm going to in, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to drink it but I'm going to enjoy drinking it the, again the Idaho 7 hops they can do no wrong yes in my view no, and it says a lot about the yeast as well I mean it's cleared itself um, I mean I uh, I mean it's 
I'm really impressed. I would use that really yeast impressed. again. If we, were yeah. do, if we were designing a recipe ourselves, yeah. I would definitely use this yeast again yeah. because the amount of hop flavour and aroma it's left in there yeah. is really good. I mean, from, from my view, if you want to improve your brewing, the best thing that you can do is probably temperature control. Yep. That's these a, weren't temperature um, control, but... No, they, they, these weren't, but if, if you are starting out in kit beers, temperature control is your friend. Buying new yeast is your friend. Yes. Most of the best lager... Best friend. It's your best friend. Yeah, most of the lager kits that you buy will come with an ale yeast. You're not going to get a true lager from that. Go and buy a proper lager yeast, mm. invest in temperature control, and do that beer at 13, 14 degrees if you can. Start dry hopping things. You know, that's a, that's a relatively easy way to do it. Um, and then when you're sick of doing all these things, go and buy a grain father. And then, you, <laughs> and then you'll buy an ice spindle, and then you'll buy a water filter, <laughs> and you'll buy a draft keg system. And then you'll buy this, and then you'll buy that, and you know. But you'll be drinking good beer. Yeah, you will. And your friends will love you. You will. So, In answer to the original question, can you improve your kit beer? Yes. Would you, are you impressed? I'm impressed with one of these beers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed that you managed to get the kit to turn this into this. Yeah, thank you. Because that this is rubbish. Yes. <laughs> and this is really good. Yes. Um, so thank you for showing me that. Am I going to go and make kit beers? Probably not. Uh, it was only a quick video for this one. Yeah. Um, I've enjoyed one of these beers. It's been interesting. It has been interesting. I'm going to go and finish this. We've got a spa to do. I'm not going to finish this. Um, and I think that's pretty much it from yeah. us. Yeah. Oysters out. <laughs>